All right, well, this was on Russian news. Yeah, it's crazy, man. They're they're showing their uh, the Yak Hunter B. Yeah, and it's on the back end of one of their fucking destroyers. So this thing's headed down to the uh, Persian Gulf right now. So, uh-oh, that's a drone, dude. That's a big unmanned drone. But the only problem with this drone is it looks just like a B-21 Raider. So if we send any B-2s in the same exact vicinity of this thing, people are going to mistake it for a B-2. So, oh, fuck. Yeah, we're going to have stealth versus stealth. This thing is fully stealth, dude. And the Kremlin said this thing is fucking mean, dude. So, oh, God. I, I tried to look it up on the internet. There ain't nothing on this thing, dude. This thing is so top secret. It makes top secret, you know, look like child's play. So this is what Rush has got now. It's called the Yak. The Hunter Bee. The Yak. The dreaded Yak. I don't fucking know, dude. Who knows? That's what they're calling it, though. But like I said, if you don't know what a B-21 Raider looks like, look it up. It's like it's like that, and then the back end's a little smaller than the B-2. You know, it's a little smaller. It's a lot... Uh, Congress was talking about building between 80 to 100 of these within the next couple of years. So they did not get it passed, though. So nope, 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 nope. It didn't pass through the Senate because it cost too much money. So they may give them a few. They may give them like five or something like that, but they ain't going to give them a whole fleet. There's just no way you can be able to afford that. I don't know. We owe trillions and trillions of dollars. You know what I mean? Where's all this money coming from? I don't know. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of fucking b-21s raiders dude you know what i mean if you're gonna be if you're gonna be an enemy that's gonna attack the u.s boy you got another thing coming so like i said if putin ever did pull that card man he'd have so many fucking raiders at his doorstep bombing the shit out of Mazi. it wouldn't even be funny dude these things are nuclear so i wouldn't be surprised in the least if the b if the b-21 radars are fucking over there right now in the persian gulf i wouldn't be surprised and if they're not there, they're talking about being on the way there. So uh, you might as well bring them in, too, and a couple of Valkyries to take out the dreaded S-300 missile defense system while you're at it. So then bring in the MOABs, the mother of all bombs, and then blow her. Blow her sky high, dude. You got to do it when all these motherfuckers are sleeping at night. You know? So that way you don't hear too much of that. You know what I mean? Going on. God is good. You know what I mean? But I would take out, I would definitely take out his fucking palace, though, with a fucking, <laughs> with a paveway, a laser-guided bomb, a paveway, dude. I would totally roast you, man. I would, dude. I'd fucking laser your ass, and then yeah, that fucker goes right to your fucking ass, right when you're sitting on the toilet. <laughs> Boom! You're dead, dude. Oh, Rohani, and Salani, and... Ayatollah Khomeini, dude. Your days are getting numbered, dude. You keep threatening and threatening and threatening. What the fuck is he doing out there? Don't break my shit. Don't break it. He's out there fucking around with my table, dude. That kid's weird. He's autistic. He does weird shit. Hey, don't break it. I wish I was. Put them away nicely. Don't break them. I already got to fix three of them motherfuckers, dude. His mom thought it'd be a good idea to tip the thing upside down when we went there for transport. <laughs> Luckily, there's only three. We got like $700 worth of patio furniture for like $100. It was like $110, dude. It was a steal. He just kept giving us. He's like, you want a trampoline? And I was like, no, I already got one. So that kid does weird shit, dude. He's always getting into weird shit. His meds start to wear off by about 4 o'clock. And then it's like, oh, fuck. And then he gets out these weird ideas. That's why I keep finding weird things in the yard every single day. I find new tools out there, contraptions. Like yesterday, he was building some kind of fucking anchor out of wood. Who the fuck would build an anchor out of wood? Wood floats. He's like, oh, he could sink. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? See? It's that, that's that terrible, you know, little thing he's got. You know, he's got slight autism. Thank God it's not major autism, but... He's got ADHD mixed with that, so that's what a shitstorm. And so is his best friend. He's got the same fucking thing, ADHD and slight autism, too. So those two are like two peas in a pod, dude, when that kid comes over. So 
he's always over here, dude. He's nice, though. He's got a lot of manners, so that's good. So he's he always minds himself, and so that's cool. But I don't know. I don't know what's what's going to happen here. Fuck. They're in the war room talking right now. So Pompeo and John Bolton are discussing war plans with, you know, with Lindsey Graham in the Senate and in the House. Everybody's talking about war right now. Everybody. I think everybody wants to know one thing, though. This is what's on everybody's mind. What are you planning on accomplishing here? What's your game plan? And what's your end game plan? What's your ending? There's got to be an ending. This can't be open-ended like Iraq, dude. This has to be go go in, get them, kill the motherfuckers, blow the system, and get out. That's what we need to do. A tactical strike. Just fucking tacticalize this shit. It's either that or this whole country's going to turn into the meat grinder and there's going to be a draft because we don't have enough troops. It would take well over 500,000 troops, if not a million fucking U.S. troops, to fucking even do anything to that country, dude. I'm thinking, like, damn near more like almost a million. That's what I'm thinking. Bare minimum of 500,000. So 500,000 U.S. troops sent, sent to the meat grinder. That's a lot of IEDs doing over there. So just seas and seas of them right now in the ground. I guarantee it. I'd bet anything on it. I'd bet money on it. So it's... <laughs> It's probably not going to go so fucking well for anybody that tries to invade. Let's just say that. No good shit. No good. No good. So hopefully hopefully these assholes in Congress just come up with a fucking drone strike and get these fuckers. And, you know, I don't care how you kill them. If you want to use that laser guided, that laser missile, you can use that. You could use the Ginsu on them. You could use a regular Hellfire on them. It don't matter. Just get these fuckers, take them out of power, and let the people have better have better leadership so that way they can finally have somebody in, in power that wants to just take care of the country and not lead by just spending all their money on terrorism and spreading hate and weaponry. So especially over to Hezbollah. Who do you think supplies Hezbollah? And who do you think supplies Hamas? It's Iran. They're also supplied all the fucking who all the uh, Shiites. So all the Shiites over there in Iraq right now that are aiming their fucking missile tubes or RPGs and AK-47s at U.S. troops right now. So it's it's not looking good, dude. This is why Iraq said, dude, just U.S. troops, let's just get you out of here. We don't, we thank you for all the hard work you did over here. We appreciate it. We love you. But we don't want you over here because we don't want this country to be a big target. And thank you for all your hard work. That's all you got to do and all you got to say and then get them the fuck out. Will Donald Trump listen to that? Probably not, because he's stubborn. He looks like a Cheeto. <sighs> John Bolton. I, you know, just when you think it couldn't get any worse, you got John Bolton in there. All right, I got to let you guys go. <sighs> Fucking A, man. What a world, what a world. Oh, well. All right, peace out. <sighs> Living in the final days.